Double kill. Triple kill. Friendly sat oh. Bah, bah, bah. Oh my god. Alright, what is going on YouTube? Foxy Cooper comes to you guys today with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are playing Call of Duty Ghosts in 2020. I asked you guys in the last video, Black Ops 3 on the Xbox 360, if you guys wanted me to play any other classic Call of Duties or any previous Call of Duties. And the comments I got the most were Call of Duty Ghosts. So we're gonna play this today. And if you guys want me to play another previous Call of Duty, it can be Modern Warfare 2, it can be Black Ops 4, it can be Infinite Warfare, it doesn't really matter. Let me know down in the comments right now. Make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's go, bros. Okay, so ghosts. <laughs> so I have this like relationship with ghosts that I I don't really I don't really like Call of Duty ghosts. I played maybe oof, maybe like a handful of games back in the day. I don't like ghosts because it's so campy, and it's super funny that like I say that because Modern Warfare 2019 is super campy as well. But there's more factors that go into my dislike for ghosts. <laughs> okay, so this is one thing. Just the random map, like map shaking, it's it's just weird. It's the weirdest thing. I don't like it. It shouldn't be in COD. Okay, so you see how he's just sitting there? Yeah, it's it's very similar to Modern Warfare in the fact of it's it's super campy. But it's not just the camping that gets me. So if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that Call of Duty Ghost is not my favorite Call of Duty. There's some of you guys that think that Call of Duty Ghost is underrated. Kinda sorta agree with you, but then again, I kinda can't because I truly don't think that Ghost is that great of a game. I think it could have been that, that great of a game. It's very similar to Modern Warfare as far as the camping aspect, but in my opinion, it's a lot worse. The hit detection in this game is on point. That's one thing I will say about Ghost. The hit detection is spot on, and it's the best that we've ever seen in Call of Duty. However, the frame rate lag on the new gen consoles is atrocious, and I'm telling you, it's just that bad to the point where it's just disgusting to play. I can't stand it. Bruh. Hello there. Enemy satcom spotted. Oh, hell no. All right, so the maps. I feel like I talk about I feel like I talk about the same stuff every single time I play Ghosts, but it's just it's just how it goes. The map design in this game is different, but it's not it's not Call of Duty. They tried something different, which I really appreciate and I can respect it. So before anyone says that I'm hating, just believe me when I say that Dude, I suck balls. Yeah, I suck. So just believe me when I say I'm not hating. I respect what they tried to do, but it didn't work. Not at all. This right here reminds me of Sandbox from World War II. There's so much going on. There's just what? too much going on. And it just doesn't work. Like, there's so much frame rate lag in this, like, right now because there's so much detail and so much going on in the map. That's so crazy. I ran through there and it was nothing but lag and there's so much going on in that map that the game can't even render it. Wow. Like I didn't even know someone could get up there. Like <laughs> that's how crazy, like I just died from somewhere that I didn't know I could die from. And I don't want people to think that like I'm hating on dynamic maps cause I'm definitely not. I don't really like the three lane garbage because it's like, we go down three lanes and then we can't go anywhere else except those three lanes. But I always feel like the best maps are the maps that have three lanes, but there's multiple ways to go down those three lanes. Not just one way to go down each lane like in World War II. Like, that's just complete garbage in my opinion. Watch this time, you pussy ass bitches. Yo, what's up with the camping, yo? What's up, what's up with the camping? No camping, my friend. No camping. Yeah, okay. Me running. Me running, my friend. 
I wish I could roll my R's, man. Whether you like it or not, I will kill you. <laughs> so like I was saying earlier, oh, I stuck somebody. So Strike Zone made its debut in this game. A lot of people compared it to Ghost. Uh, or uh, not Ghost, um, to Dome from nah, MW3. That was a really nice, that was a really nice three piece. <laughs> that was really nice. I, 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 hit, I hit all them. That was nice. Okay. The game wouldn't piss me off as much if the frame rate lag wasn't there. And I feel bad for the pros that had to play with this frame rate lag all year long on the new gen consoles. Pro shot, pro shot by the statue. Pro shot by the statue. Yeah, we're making call outs, bro. Okay. Pro strats, bro. I think the gunplay in this game is really, really smooth. I think that as far as like hit detection goes and gunplay is, like it's so smooth. I, I should have had that three piece. I'm actually really upset I didn't get that third guy. Pro, shot. Pro strats there, buddy. Sitting in a corner. Pro On fucking shot. strike zone! I sit up. Stop running out there. Oh my god. One's in the kitchen. Kitchen. Pop that bitch. There we go, we got another one. Oh dude, there's a guy right there. He's like behind that. There we go, nice two piece. I guess someone else to walk in, no? Fucking bitch. Oh, got him. Fucking bitch. Oh, bar, bar, bar. Get over by the bar. Pro shop. <laughs> Sorry, Foxy. Nah, that's cool, bro. I was trying. <laughs> it's all good. GG. So I feel like if the frame rate lag wasn't as bad, this game would flow a lot better. There's no frame rate lag on the last gen consoles. And that's why I asked you guys if you all wanted me to play Ghost on PS4 or next gen, or if you guys wanted me to play it on the Xbox 360 last gen. And some people were like, well, where's Xbox One? It's like, I don't have Ghost for Xbox One, so I, I can't really play it. And then we can go to thermal sites. That guy's sniping. Well, I'll let that go. As far as thermal sites on snipers and things like that go, that, that's whatever. That doesn't really bother me. What does bother me is thermal sites on pretty much every single gun in this game, including assault rifles. That's just the worst. It's the worst thing. And Modern Warfare 2019 has it, but it's not as overpowered as this game is. There, there's just people laying down everywhere. There's too much attention to detail in these maps. I know people are gonna be like, you're just a hater. You just suck at this game. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't like this game. Like, I, I truly don't like Ghost. I think the hit detection is fantastic. I think that there, it's a really cool concept of what they were trying to do with this game. With They tried to do certain things with this game that just don't work. Competitive in this game was really awesome. You know, I, I know I've watched videos on the competitive aspect of this game before. And it's really awesome. It's really good. The thermal sites, the maps are huge at times. Like this map isn't too bad, but the problem with this map is that there's so much detail that people can hide in the grass at all times. And like people, there's so many like different corners and places where people can hide. It's just ridiculous. And I'm surprised I'm not raging as hard as I normally do. I'm playing like shit. <laughs> I didn't even see him until like the last minute. Okay, and then the SATCOM. So since I got a SATCOM, we can kind of talk about it. Okay, so the SATCOMs. The fact that there's no UAV in this game is a huge buzzkill. And then that frame rate lag, though. <laughs> love that. I love it. So there's no UAV in this game. And you have to have, I think, two or three SATCOMs placed in order to get a regular UAV. And I think that's just stupid. I think we can, everyone can agree with that. And the fact that... There's got to be a UAV in a Call of Duty game all the time. There has to be. You can't have a Call of Duty game without a UAV. Like, it's just weird. It's the weirdest thing, and it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you replace something that's not broken in the first place? You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thanks so much for the support on the videos recently. It really means a lot to me. Uh, we've been in such a slump in the, within the past, like, you know, three four months that things are starting to really look up so i really do appreciate it let me know which call do you guys want me to play next down in the comments below like i said in the beginning of the video and yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys later come on